Fun Fishing is brought to you by Fisherman's Warehouse, Double X Tackle, and Vance's Tackle. Alan, remember when I had the Superman shirt on and I tried out fishing? Oh yeah, it didn't work. Well, look at this. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. A fun fishing, plus you got it on back. Right, yeah, fish on! <laughs> Fishing is fun, but catching fish is funner. Oh, when fish it's hot, to with the spring of summer. From Sacramento River to the San Francisco Bay, we're gonna show you how to get some fish today. Salmon, bass, or trout, halibut is what it's all about. Stripers on the Delta. Alan and Warren will help ya! Stand like a man, now fish stand like a woman! Hey! Uh oh no! You need help! I got him! Here, give me your... <laughs> it slipped! It slipped! Whoa! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Oh. Fishing is fun, but hooking is the only way. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today. Welcome to Fun Fishing. I'm Warren Trumbly. Hi, I'm Alan Fong, and we're up in the North Delta, and we're gonna show you viewers how to catch some stripers. And what are we going to be fishing with, Alan? What type of bait? Uh, we're gonna be using uh, swim baits. There's a lot of imitation of steelhead and uh, smelt that the fish are feeding on this time of the year today. Okay, and what's a swim bait? Swim bait is a imitation of what they've been planting down here. You know, DFG's been planting a lot of little fingerling steelhead, and <laughs> they're planting their fingerlings, you know, for the McCallum River here, mm -hmm. and the stripers just flock in here to eat them. So they're putting bait in the water for us to chum? Yeah, so you should be able to catch them today. <laughs> <laughs> about, about time, isn't it? <laughs> okay, well, let's get the boat going and uh, let's, let's go out and out. catch a fish. All right. Hey, Alan, we're on the water. Yep. Finally. And we're looking for stripers. Yep. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about uh, what we're doing with the with the fish. Uh, the striper is sort of striped bass. Yep. Striper bass fishing, and <laughs> what they're doing is they'll feed on these flats. Like you know, we're way offshore. You know, we're on mm -hmm. top of a shoal where it's only like three to five feet deep. Okay. And in these striped bass, they come in from the ocean. Yep. They make their way through the bay, you know, through the fall, mm -hmm. and they're making their way, getting ready to go up the river and spawn. Okay, and let's talk a little bit about the tackle, what we're using. Uh, this, this is actually quick, their uh, fast taper rods. Mm -hmm. I like to use seven footers. They're actually like, you know, if I was fishing for stripers, they're a light tackle, but mm -hmm. they're actually heavy for bass fishing. Reels, I use 15 pound tests, and mm -hmm. You have to carry about 120 yards, otherwise you might get spooled. Okay. If you hook a big one, then he could take all your line out of your reel. What, what size fish are we normally we um, look Around at? in here we're looking at 5 to 20 pounds. 5 to 20 pounds? Yeah. 20 pound fish is a pretty good size fish. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Okay. But I've caught them up to 40. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, let's... So hopefully let's... we can get one that give us a big... Yeah. Well, yeah, hopefully we get a 40 pounder. Yeah, there you go. All right. That'd be nice. Well, we're going to do a little bit of fishing. Yeah, you can see those clouds over there. Well, I knew that one had. Where'd he go, Alan? He's here. Well, that's a nice fish. Ooh. Nice striper. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the striper, what the size is and the limit. Um, they have to be 18 inches or longer to keep them, and the limit's two. So you can keep two per day. Mm -hmm. But this is a nice little striper. See how thin they are? Uh -huh. They're coming in here feeding and they'll get nice and fat. All right, about time you caught Fish me. on! <laughs> That's a big one. Oh! Let him run. He's running out. Let him run. That's a big fish. That's he a... finally came through. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! 
Wow. Now if you oh. land them. You got them on there. Gotta, you gotta have put them in the boat. Him. Oh, shoot. He's coming Keep back. Going. Here he comes. <laughs> Just take it. Oh, oh, it's 30 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> nice fish. Don't lose that, baby. Take your time now. You want me to help you? <laughs> Hand me the pole. Hand me the pole. Easy now. Easy. Oh, he's not done. No. Boy, look at this guy. <laughs> Boy, is this fun fishing. Look at this one. Horn. He caught a hog. Yeah. Look where you oh, caught it. Oh, gosh. It don't count. <laughs> oh, that's great. Here, hold on to him. Oh. Look at that, viewers. Guy came through. <laughs> yeah. There's about 20 plus. Boy, he gave you a battle, didn't he? It was a great fight. It's a beautiful fish. Yeah. yeah. Wow. About time. It's about time. <laughs> well, Dream come true. Oh, really? And uh, we'll uh, let's take a commercial break. Yeah, we'll be right back. I'll put this thing back in the water. Oh, turn and it loose and fight loose. another day. Yep. And then uh, when we come back, we're gonna talk a little bit about the tackle and how we're using the tackle. So I guess we're having good fun. Good going. Fun fishing. <laughs> Oh. See, I told you. Yeah. He'll, he'll bite you when he's ready. Fun Fishing is brought to you by Double X Tackle, Fisherman's Warehouse, and Vance's Tackle. Boy, putting him back in the water, he ate my hand up. I had to put a Band-Aid on. I was bleeding. He oh, bites. It's, it's a good trade. I told you, don't <laughs> let him go until he bites your hand off. Yeah. <laughs> Reviving him, boy. Uh, it feels good to let it. That fish was about 28 pounds. 28 pounds. Yeah, wow. That's your record best? That's, my, that's right. the best fish I've, I've gotten in, in a striper. Yeah. <laughs> well, they can't go nowhere because it's only three to five feet deep, so they just keep going out. Keep going so out. They'll wear you out. Yeah, I was huffing and puffing. <laughs> yeah, you're lucky I was chasing them with the motor. Yeah, I know. I've had real trouble. Uh, let's talk about the tackle. Well, uh, the number one bait would be, like the swim bait would be a fish trap. Mm -hmm. And you need a seven-foot rod with a lot of power. Something where it's fast, where it's only going to be on top, so you can, you know, like that fish you had, do you feel how tough his mouth was? Yeah. You know, they're hard to punch that hook yeah. in, so you got to have something with, you can get enough hook setting power to drive it through. Mm -hmm. And on the rods here, it'll usually say fast taper, and the line rate should be right around 10 to 20 okay. on the rating of the rod. Yeah. And the reel, you got to have something that'll hold over 100 yards of line. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I found that working these baits, um, 15 pound test fluorocarbon. Okay. It's got the right sink rate, everything is just perfect for that bait. Because the fluorocarbon will sink in the water where a monofilament will float. Will float. Uh -huh. So this makes a difference in the presentation. Uh -huh. okay. So all the other times I've taken, you had mono, mm -hmm. and then now we upgraded you to fluorocarbon. <laughs> you just, he's a great guy. <laughs> and, and then, uh, and, and I had quite a bit of line out when I uh, oh, yeah. when he was going. So he, I, he, you know, but he didn't go very far. He no. only ran about 30 yards. That's about okay. It. And so we need a bait casting. Bait casting is a lot easier. A lot easier. Spinning would have worked. But uh, yeah, been. you can use spinning. I do spinning when it's real windy at times. I'll go to a spinning rod. Okay. But just as long as it's in that same kind of rod, fast taper, a lot of backbone. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this uh, swim bait. But I think the more important thing is like the eye right here, uh -huh. being in the front of the bait. So we're fishing actually flats, three to five feet of water, mm -hmm. and a lot of weeds. So when the when this head comes up to the weeds, it goes right through okay. it instead of snagging so it it's, through it. It's kind of the top of the nose on this head. Yeah. And then we we tie the knot onto that. Mm -hmm. We just bring it through, and this thing works works wonder. Pretty good. Yep. Okay. Well. I kind of caught my breath. Let's see if I can <laughs> yeah. catch a fish. Go to the back and get another let's, one. Let's get another fish. All right. All right. Let's let's start fishing. Okay. Now, Alan, is, we're drifting along. Fish on. Oh, look at that. Uh oh. I'm on the other side of here. Oh, Warren, this one's bigger than yours. Oh, oh. man. You know, I think this is your fish. You That's shouldn't have let him back so I can get him. Well, you can tell because he's got my blood and skin in his mouth. <laughs> he shrunk a little. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a nice fish. 
Oh, that's a, that's a beauty. <laughs> oh. Not quite as big as Warren. Almost. <laughs> Now we're using the soft swim bait, but we have some other swim baits that we, we yeah, use Yeah, we're too. using the, uh, you know, the soft ones, the, mm -hmm. the fish traps. Yeah. But we got some other ones that we're using too, okay. that imitate the okay. steelhead. Okay, Alan, what do you have there? Um, these are, this is a different kind of uh, imitations. What I'm doing is I'm trying to duplicate the little steelhead that they're letting go. Uh -huh. These, the swim baits that we're using that they're watching us catch our fish on is the smelt, which they migrate north this time of the year. Okay. But when fishing game plant those little fingerlings that go out to the ocean and come back, you know, mm -hmm. later in the future, mm -hmm. this is, when we get on a school of boiling fish chasing them things, this is what I want to whoop out. Okay. And this is a bomber that I've actually painted myself. Uh-huh. This is a slammer. This is one you could just buy right out of the package. Okay. This guy here is $39. Okay. And this is a... It's an imitation of a you know injured uh, steelhead. Okay, and it's he's made out of wood. He's made out of wood. And he's got a uh, he's jointed, a jointed. With a, with a rubber tail. Yeah, it's called a wake bait, so it's going to go right over the surface. Okay. Then this is a swim bait, just like we're using, but it okay. looks like a trout. It's soft plastic, mm -hmm. has a two ounce sinker in the head, and this okay. guy works really good. Five pounder will swallow that thing. He will. Okay. Yeah. And then. What's that this? one's real so realistic. That's brand new. This is a castic and it's called a premium. And these are all designed for bass, the stripers eat them up. But these are just some of the different kind of baits that we're going to be throwing today. Mm -hmm. Well, Alan, we're, we're barely in 12 feet of water here, aren't we? Yeah. You know, we're sitting on the edge of the flat where you just caught that big one's right over there is only three to five feet. Uh -huh. And we're out in the middle in 11 feet of water. Okay. <clears throat> it's a hard bottom. You can see the yellow intensified there. Okay. But there's a lot of, we got some motor noise in here, but anything you see in red in here are fish. Okay. The color's a lot easier to see. Anything you see in red, mm -hmm. they'll usually indicate some kind yeah. of fish. Yeah. And this helps to see the structure, too, because we talk about structure a lot oh, yeah. under the water. So we can be driving along just like... See, there's a little hump right there. See how it came up? Yeah. And, and that would be a structure for different it's fish. Like a little different branch. Types. Yeah. Okay. All fish use structure, some way or another. Uh -huh. These stripers just like it where it's real flat where we're going to come up. Okay. And you'll see pretty quick here it's going to start raising. Yeah. And we're going to be up on top of this flat here. And we're okay. Start fishing again. Well, you said the red. I'm seeing red in here now. Mm -hmm. yep. oh. See how it shifted. So see, we're coming up on the flat. On the yeah. Now we're only in six feet. Six feet of water. So we're going to fish we're right gonna here. We're going to fish in six feet of water for big fish? Yep. You caught yours in about four. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so let, let's catch some fish. Go. Okay. You had mentioned as we were running, was looking for birds. Yep. Why do you look for birds? Yeah, birds are, they're better than any depth finder you can ever buy. They can see those schools of bait underneath the surface. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you can almost, I watch their formation, how they fly, uh -huh. and almost can tell you what they're on. And a lot of times if you see them hovering in a circle, mm -hmm. you know, they're on some. So they're, okay. usually the stripers aren't pushing the bait all the way to the top, but you start fishing, you'll catch them. So the, the birds follow the bait fish. As the fish push the bait up to okay, the surface. The stripers push the bait up to the surface. Yep. They start feeding on, they push them up, and then... And then the birds eat them. The birds come from the top. Yep. So the, what a life. <laughs> you know, they get pushed from both both ends, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do. Poor guys. So you don't want to grow up to be a bait fish. No. <laughs> <laughs> or be a bait fish in life. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, birds are always important. I'm always looking for them because a lot of delta, you got sloughs. You can look over and see them, you know, 100, 200, 300 yards away, and I'll zoom over there. Another one. Another one? Yeah. Another nice one. How'd you do that? I'm going to let you in on the hint. Hunt Fishing is brought to you by Fisherman's Warehouse. Double X Tackle, and Vance's Tackle. Huh. Well, welcome back to Fun Fishing. Alan, let's talk about this technique here. The technique when you're using, fishing these real shallow flats. 
and all you're doing is just fan casting. So you're just casting in any old direction. Like I said, they don't point in the, cur in the current. They're just cruising around, I believe. So you just cast anywhere and just turn the handle as slow as you can. Real slow. Do you Very like, slow. You like to bounce the bottom? No. Okay. Yeah, you can feel them come up, peck it, and then you'll feel them yank and set the hook. Okay. So we're just we're casting out in these these flat areas. And just and reeling it back just, slow. In all different directions. We're not, yeah. We're not looking for anything no. other than structure because the flat is the structure. Flat, it is, yes. Okay. And, and when they hit it, you yank just it? Just keep reeling. Nope. Until you feel it load. And then set okay. the hook. So because I, sometimes you feel it kind of hit. Yeah. You just keep reeling. And our tendency is to want to set the hook. but we're Yeah. Not, don't, we don't do it. Yeah, a couple of times you did. You did good. You didn't yeah. set it. So you let them hit it once, and then and you wait until it. it gets till really they devour. Up. Yeah, and then you just the nail. <laughs> Was that another fish? Yeah, I told you. I get one every cast here. Woo. Eat my dang fish trap off. Okay, get that camera on. Here we go. Fish on. There he is. I'm in the stroke now. That's a fish every cast, Alan. Almost. Oh! Finally, you got one! Finally, yeah! It's a miracle! <laughs> <laughs> You're close to it! <laughs> oh, is it a good one? Ah! Uh, not as big as that 28 pounder. <laughs> He's not even 28 inches. <laughs> oh, that's super. Oh. He's a fish, though. He's a fish. See? Yeah. <laughs> Get <this> away from <laughs> We'll be back with more fun fishing. Fun fishing is brought to you by Double X Tackle, Fisherman's Warehouse, and Vance's Tackle. Six inch swim bait. Oh, look at that. Oh, man, I got a hug. You need a hand with that one? Nope. No. Oh. Look at what they do to that thing. It's unbelievable, huh? It, it really is. Look at that. Look at that bait. Look at this. <laughs> that sucker ate that thing. Right now. That's a nice. Uh oh, another big one. This is another big one. Oh, fish. man. It's not quantity, it's quality, Alan. Oh, it is a nice <laughs> one. Oh, man. Fish, are you dumb? <laughs> <laughs> You're on your own, bud. <laughs> Well, I don't think you've ever had a day like this, huh? I haven't. This has been uh, huh? this has been a pretty good day. And look at what he did. He swallowed. He swallowed. It. That was that was a big uh, trout swim bait. Nice fish. That's it. All right, Warren, yeah. two hogs today. Well, now you see my two fish. He must be watching that program on Saturday. Yeah, fun fishing, <laughs> huh? <Yeah. laughs> oh, beautiful. This is a. Uh, I don't know. How much do you think this weighs? About eight. About eight pounds? Yeah. The graph. Look at that graph. Look at it. Wow. Look at it. It just lit up. <laughs> oh, Look at these fish. How do they eat something this big? These yeah, guys. Right. Nice keeper. What do you think, Alan? I'm about 
pooped out. Pooped out. Has it been a good day of fishing or yeah, what? It's been a great day. Yeah, and we've been lousy uh, weather. Lousy. Great day. Oh boy, that one cell came through. <laughs> we got soaking wet. <laughs> yeah, we did. Today. It came down. Yeah. And minimum size is 18 inches. Yep. Limits two. Limits two. So we've limited the boat. Oh, we've so. caught quite a few. We've caught a lot of fish. Yeah, You've done bass. good today. Yeah. You caught the two biggest ones. Well, yeah. what can I say? Yeah. It's so. a great day. All right. Well, we went over everything, showed everybody how to catch them, and now is the time to get out. Okay. We expect to see you out on the water here shortly. So come back and join us next week on Fun, Fun Fishing. Fishing. Fish Jam is fun, but catching fish is funner. Whether it's autumn, winter, spring, or summer. From Sacramento River to San Francisco Bay, we're going to show you how to catch some fish today. Salmon, bass, or trout, halibut is what it's all about. Stripers on the Delta. Alan help yeah. you. <laughs> Our camera guy was out fishing the other day and he fell out of the boat. He couldn't get back in. The best way to do it is swim back to the back of the boat. Okay. Put your feet on there. Hit that trim button right here. Right here. Trim it up. Woo there you go. Climb in. That's how you get back in the boat if you ever had to. Now, if wow. he could do it, anybody could do it. <laughs> Use your motor, trim it back up, and you just climb right in. Alan! Alan, wait for me! Fishing is fun, but hooking is the only way. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today.